This video will cover how to replace the inlet and discharge valves along with the pistons, guides, and seals on any RGX series pump. These are the tools used in the video to repair the machine. Here are the kits and their part numbers needed to service the pump. To replace the three discharge valves on the top of this pump, remove the valve caps on the manifold with a 24mm socket. There are six valves in total. The other three require the head bolts to be taken off. Next, using a pair of needle nose or valve pliers, remove the valves by grabbing the plastic valve cage while twisting and pulling straight out. Make sure to clean the thread sealer off the plugs and the ports for your valves to prevent damage when reassembling. Put in the new valves and use something that will not damage the inside of your pump to properly seat them. Apply a thin layer of thread sealer all the way around the threads when reinstalling the valve caps. Make sure to torque the caps to 531 inch-pounds, or 44 foot-pounds, before the adhesive dries. Never use an air gun when reassembling your machine. This can lead to injury to you or damage to your pump. To access the remaining valves, pistons, guides, and their seals, start by removing the eight head bolts with an 8mm Allen socket. The inlet manifold should come off with the head bolts. There are several ways to remove the inlet valves, with the first being a 12mm bolt, whose threads match up with the valves. Next is a pair of valve pliers. Third is the reverse pliers, where you can twist and pull to take the valves out. Use a pick to take out the old o-rings near the bottoms of the valves. Watch out for this small o-ring that may end up falling out. Without it, your pump will end up leaking. Put in the new o-rings, followed by the new inlet valves. To get to the pistons, seals, and their guides, we need to remove the head of the pump. The best way to remove it is to support the bottom while tapping the top with a soft face mallet. Do this until there is enough room to evenly pry off the head with two screwdrivers on opposite sides of the pump. Be careful not to apply too much pressure to one side of the head because this can crack the ceramic pistons. Once the manifold is off, there will be parts either on the pistons or still in the head of the machine. To take out parts still in the head, you can use a rear piston guide extractor. We sell the head portion on our website. After that, take out the front piston guide by hand. A small flathead screwdriver can be used to pry out the high pressure seals if it can't be taken out with your fingers.
To remove parts off of the pistons, start by using a wrench or your hand to rotate the crankshaft. This will push parts towards the end of the piston, making them easier to twist off. The first item to go into the manifold will be the head rings with the flat side facing down. Next comes the high pressure seal. Its concave side should fit over the support ring. New seals are tough to fit in. Make sure you work them in at an angle and to only use your hands. The brown backup ring should then fit on top of that. The front piston guide comes next with the angled side going into the head. To put the rear piston guide in, start by replacing the O-ring on the outside. Then place in the low pressure seal with the flat side first into the guide. Put a small amount of grease onto the support ring so that it stays in the seal when putting it in the head. When properly seated, it should click into place. If you are not putting on new pistons, you can use a knife to remove debris on the piston. Scrubbing and wiping them off is also important to do. To replace the pistons, remove the piston bolt using a 10mm socket. Again, make sure to clean off any thread sealant from the bolts before putting them back in. Now you can replace the brass plate, followed by the new piston. Add the copper washer to the piston bolt, along with applying a thin layer of thread sealer all the way around the threads before retightening them. Torque the piston bolt to 62 inch pounds. Now we can place the manifold back onto the pistons and reapply the head bolts. To properly put on the manifold, turn the crankshaft so that the outer pistons are even. This helps with pushing the head back on squarely. New seals may be tight so you can use a soft-faced hammer to evenly tap it into place while supporting the head. These head bolts should be torqued to 442 inch pounds or 37 foot pounds. Torquing in a crisscross manner can help evenly tighten the head onto the pump.